We are looking at CalPerfect verbs and how to form them. And with any of the verb stems, we want to begin with the 3MS perfect form. So we'll look at the 3MS. And in the CalPerfect, the 3MS is formed with a comets under the first root letter and a patak under the second root letter. So katal. Katal. If we look up on the top left here, notice that uh, we have the three root letters, root R1, R2, R3. The vowel under the second root letter is called the theme vowel. So back down here to our 3MS form, the vowel under the second root letter here, the tate, is a patach. So we have a patach as our theme vowel for the CalPerfect form. So 3MS is Katal. It's helpful at this point to look at the other form that does not add a syllable. So notice that there's no syllable added at the end here. The other form is the second feminine singular. The ending here is just a tav with a silent schwa underneath it. And so we end up with katalt. Katalt. Nothing much happens here. The accent is still on the last syllable. This is two silent schwa's next to each other. And so we just have katalt. Note that the tav has a dagash laini because it comes after a silent schwa. Now let's look at the forms that add syllables. And remember we, we talked about three different kinds of endings. We had vocalic, which means that the ending is uh, completely vowels. That's vocalic. Then we had what we called light consonantal. The light consonantal is a consonant and a vowel. So that's a consonant plus vowel. And then we had what we call heavy consonantal. The heavy consonantal is consists of consonant plus vowel plus consonant. So we have the vocalic, that is just a vowel. Light consonantal, consonant plus vowel, heavy consonantal, consonant plus vowel plus consonant. Looking at the vocalic endings, we begin with the third feminine singular. And that ending is just a comet's hay. And so the comet's hay is just an ah ending. And notice that for verbs with vocalic endings, it is the theme vowel that reduces. So we have katala. And I'll put a meteg here to indicate that this is a vocal schwa. Katala. Notice that with a noun, since the accent is here at la, the ka would normally be propretonic, and so in a noun it would reduce, but in verbs this is different. It's the theme vowel that reduces. And so we have katala. The verb is a little bit different than a noun in this regard, so katala. The other vocalic ending is over here in our third common plural, the bottom right, and we have a shurik. That is our ending for the third common plural, and again, we have the comets remains where it is. The theme vowel reduces. So we have katalu, and I'll put a meteg here again to indicate that this is a vocal schwa. Not a very good meteg. I'll put a little bit better. There we go. Meteg to show that this is a vocal schwa. So we have a vocal schwa, which is reduced from the theme vowel, the, the, which was a patach. So we have katalu. So those are our two vocalic endings. The third feminine singular is a vocalic ending, and the third common plural is a vocalic ending. And in those two cases, the theme vowel reduces. So we have katala, third feminine singular, katalu, third common plural. Now let's look at our light consonantal endings, our light consonantal endings, which are a consonant and a vowel. The first one here would be first common singular. We put a T 
It's a Tav plus a Hiric Yod. And so that's a, and I'm going to put a Dagesh Laney in here for reasons that we'll see in a second. And so we have Katalti, Katalti. And I've got a silent Shua here, that's why I put a Dagesh Laney in the Tav. Now we need to consider what happens to the accent. So, Katalti, notice here that the light consonantal endings, the accent recedes to the previous syllable. That's why I'm pronouncing it Katalti. All the light consonantal endings cause the syllable to recede. And so we have Katalti. No vowels need to reduce. Uh, the comets here is in a pretonic syllable, it does not need to reduce, so we have katalti for first common singular. The next light consonantal ending is our second masculine singular, and we will add the ending ta, a ta with a comets, and similarly the accent recedes, so we have katalta, and so the vowels remain the same. Notice that the the three ms Vowels are what we use here for our light consonantal endings. And unless something else happens that causes one of these vowels to reduce, these are our baseline vowels. Now we come over to our first common plural. This is our next light consonantal ending. And the ending here is new. As with the other light consonantal endings, the accent will recede and we'll get katalnu. Katalnu. So our first common plural again is light consonantal because it has a consonant and vowel. And this causes the accent to recede, so the vowels remain the same as from the 3MS form. We have katalnu. Nothing needs to reduce. Our final two forms are heavy consonantal endings. We have our second masculine plural form. The ending here is a tav, maim, and a uh, segol. So we have tav, segol, maim. I'll put a dagesh laney there again because of the syllable divider that comes before it. And so we have a heavy consonantal, again, two consonants and a vowel. Heavy consonantal endings pull the accent to the end. And so we have katal tem. The tem is now where the accent is. This means that the first vowel, which would normally be a comets under the kof, is propretonic and open. And so this reduces to a vocal schwa. And then the theme vowel, katal, which is now pretonic, remains, and so the patak remains, so we have katal tem, katal tem. Similarly, for the second feminine plural, our ending is heavy consonantal. It's ten, two consonants and a vowel, and so the same reduction occurs, katal ten, katal ten, that original comets is now in a propretonic open syllable and so it reduces to a vocal schwa. Katal ten. Katal ten. So these are our Cal perfect verbs and how to form them.